Hey, what's up? It's your boy Just Might over here at Producer Push, and I figured I'd make a little quick tutorial video on how to customize uh, the Fruity Parametric EQ2. And you're probably like, "What are you talking about?" Um, so recently I just figured out that you could kind of make your put an image or logo in the FL Studio Parametric EQ2. But rather than me like talking about it, I'll show you like what I mean. So you're just gonna open up FL Studio 12 or FL Studio, of course. By the way, if you guys like how I have that startup logo, I also recently made another video on a, how to do that. So I'll put that for you guys to um, check how to do that. But yeah, so um, in FL Studio, you obviously got your uh, parametric EQ. Most people that use FL Studio definitely know about this. This is how you, uh, you know, EQ. So um, I figured out how to uh, customize this by adding a little image or logo. And the way to do that is uh, by going to Photoshop. You could do this in Adobe Illustrator as well, but I used a Photoshop. So um, just have like your logo or image. So of course I'm gonna use the Just My logo. Um, and uh, basically you're gonna wanna open up this file and uh, I'll show you guys how to get there. So you're gonna wanna go to your uh, program files x86. Then you're gonna wanna go to your FL Studio. Um, then you're gonna want to go to plugins, fruity, effects, and then go all the way down until you see uh, fruity parametric EQ2. And uh, once you go there, the last uh, folder is uh, artwork, so you're just gonna double click that. And the fo uh, file you want to like edit is gonna be called back.bmp, so you're gonna double click that. And uh, what you're gonna want to do is just drag your image or logo into this uh, photo. And of course, you know, the logo is a uh, huge, so I'm just gonna um, scale it down by hitting a uh, shift and then, you know, dragging it probably to like a small size like that. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much of where I put this at because, you know, it's just a quick tutorial. So I'm not gonna like try to make it perfect, but I'm just gonna probably for this tutorial, just uh, make it smaller and put it on the top right, somewhere like right here. And, um, you know, my logo is a little distracting with the, like, vibrant red. So what I'm going to probably do is just, like, uh, mix it in by uh, going to uh, right here, this drop down, and clicking uh, overlay. So it kind of, like, blends in more. So it's, like, not too uh, distracting. And then, lastly, all you got to do is go to File, Save As, and um, you're just going to go back to where you found this file at. So you're going to go all the way back to, you know, FL Studio 12, uh, plugins, fruity, effects, parametric EQ, artwork. And you're going to want to save it as a BMP file, just like how it was previously. So BMP file. And you're going to hit save. It's going to be called back BMP, just like how it was. It's going to ask you, hey, do you want to replace it? You're going to be like, yeah or yes. Uh, hit OK. And then now, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, close FL Studio real quick, and I'll open it up again. And now, when I uh, open up the Parametric EQ, there you go. I got the little Just My logo right here. You know, um, of course, you know, you're probably gonna put your logo or whatever. And this is like, you know, just a little cool little uh, thing you could do to, like, brand FL Studio or kind of just like make it more personal, make it feel like more at home when you're making beats. Even though you're probably making beats at home, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I just uh, thought it was pretty cool to share with you guys. And uh, if you like this video, definitely hit that like button, um, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's your boy Just Might, and I'm out. Peace.